That culvert comes out on the other side. And this is oh, up there is just oh everywhere. And then travel down here to the River Ambrose, like just around the corner. Oh look, netting. See, well, it was worth committing to coming down here just for that. Oh look, I've ended up in a litter pick now. I was only coming for a nosy and I'm litter picking. Hey look, this is fabulous. This is absolutely fabulous. Saw something going to the riverbank. Let's go over here. Get this sort of. Oh, look, more rubble bags. This is what I was on about in my last video. That they. Oh, God, it's all got it's all stuff under there. can't leave it, can you? Like, oh look, that's a bottle. That's a full bottle. Oh, there we go. It's plugged up by mud. I might have to come back for that. Ah, I came back for it. I do a lot of rain over the next few days. So. And pick the rubbish up. It's all dried up a bit now. Northern milk pasteurized. Gosh, that's an old bottle. Northern Dairies, one pint. Wow. You don't see them like that anymore. Done. I couldn't do that with two with I couldn't do that with one hand. So this is where I got up to last time. And then I turned back. But let's see how much further we can go. I'm gonna leave that bag there because we'll come back this way. I'm not setting sail down the river Amber today. Yeah. 
handy. I mean, I'm already soaking, so shall I just go for it? I still haven't got any decent wellies. Oh, it's gonna go. Oh, it's over the top. That's it. <gasps> it's over the top. Oh, I'll just go for it now. I bought flip flops, but I didn't think about my jeans. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh, oh that was me. I've, I've gone in now. Oh my god. Look at this gravel bar. That's incredible. This is what I was saying before. You see the the brook was made to be this wide but it hasn't got the energy to travel to fill this whole space so it's using just this section and this is where the gravel bars come in putting all its sediment on there and so it, it's got the energy then to travel around so it's created its own bend in the river it's so clever you don't need to walk in the river there that's what gives not, oh, I was going to say there's not much litter on this bit, but I've just found some. Oh, there's a snail hiding under there. Uh, maybe a dead snail hiding under there. What are these? Wet wipes? They're old wet wipes, aren't they? Love it because the road is just up here. And there's this whole secret world back here that nobody knows about, nobody goes in. I think it's incredible. It's dead secretive. That's a roadworks thing. That's a that's, that's the roadworks for the fencing. of its metal so hopefully it will rust. Look at this little channel there. Fabulous. I'm gonna go flying again. Get that on 
the way back. I think it was the waves against the mud, but that something was coming for me. That's it now, I've got the heebie jeebies probably. Are we nearly there? Is this it? Look, look at how the bed's changed. It's really, it's really quiet apart from these ripples that I've just created. But it's gone really flat. This is a plain bed. Plain bed. There's no riffles. They're the little ripples that stay in the same place. There's no steps, which the water sort of falls down. It's all gone very calm. Oh, look, and there it is, the River Amber. This, so this moment is where Birches Brook in Derbyshire meets the River Amber and I'm on a massive sand sandbar right now which I'm sinking into I should have just stayed in the middle Wow, are you looking at that? And there's a bit of a blockage there which I'm not going to move, I'm not going to move that blockage because when it's, when the rain's really heavy we don't want the water to just get funneled straight into the river too fast obviously we'll, it's, a, it's a difficult balance of needing the water to not drain the roads but then not enter the river too flas, fast and flood downstream so I'm not going to do anything about that blockage because that will just keep only a very small amount of the water back. It may even wash away if it's heavy rain. But this is brilliant. I can't believe I'm at the entrance of the River Amber. Amazing. All right, let's head back. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck in the sandbar. Curiosity satisfied. Let's go back. I don't know how I'm going to deal with getting in the car. Really should have worn some lighter trousers or shorts. But I didn't want to get bitten. Oh, oh there we go again. Jumped again. Must be that section. Oh, the shoe. Nearly forgot it. I haven't seen any fish yet, but then I, I have upset everything. I think so. Look, I love this. Isn't that amazing? feel like you've been walking for ages but it's just because you're watching where you're putting your feet and picking up rubbish and all the rest of it really you've not gone very far oh how did I get around here back at the scooter It's 
stuck. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yep, that's why it was stuck. Okay, I think I have everything. Wow. I have got another bag in my back, er, uh, back, backpack. Um, but I've got more rubbish to pick up yet. So I'm trying to save that one for the next litter pick which I should have done first in hindsight because that one would have been a bit drier and a bit cleaner um, <laughs> oh well oh, it's deep I forgot how deep That's one full bag. Let's make our way out. Here we are, coming to the end. That's where we came in. gas marker. I used to have them. I think some places still do. That's where we were. I was just getting out of my wet wellies. Well I've got out of one, putting my flip flops on. And I dropped it back down there again. Damn it. I've retrieved it. Try again.